What's up, YouTube? This is Star Battalion. And I'm Shaylin. And we are 8 Big Co op. And today is January 9th, 2016. I have my glasses on. It is a new year. Yep. So, yeah. our first, first battle box, box of the year. Of the new year, yeah. So, I'm quite excited. This is one of the boxes that I really. Oh, that's it, heavy. I told you it was heavy. Oh, that's, that's uh, that kind of hurt my wrist. Be careful. I got caught pool tunnels. Uh, yeah, he got stuck in the carpool. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to jump in. Um, we're going to go ahead and open, and I'm going to try to do this so that it doesn't block the view. I'm just going to move it. You can't look. Bit. Yeah, you can't look. You can't look yet. Okay, so of course we have the Tinder. Not quite as much as, oh my goodness, as last time, but we do have the Tinder. Okay, so I'm going to move that up there. Okay, so first thing out of the box that I see is a beanie. Now this is a battle box beanie, has the little logo on it, and it's it Hunter is orange. Hunter Orange. So this is good for um, working in the forest whenever we're doing practicing our maneuvers. So I'm quite excited for this. Um, I'm wondering by looking at this, can we determine what the theme of the box is? Um, oh, theme of the box. I'm sorry. Oh. Sit rep, hunt to survive. Oh, I should have read perfect. the card, huh? Hunting is a skill that is a necessi that is a necessity in a SHTF scenario. Um, we are very excited to bring you a box that we feel will help you thrive in a situation where you are in dire need of food. We work with some amazing American companies that all came together to bring a great hunting themed battle box. A, um, and then it goes on with some of the things in the box, and then I will read that when we're done. So that's why it's Hunter Orange, is because because um, there's a saying: give a man a fish, to eat for a day, teach him to fish, and he'll win tournaments or something. Oh. Yeah, something like that. So um, we're gonna go ahead and. Nah. Yeah, I, I next is a trap of some sort. That is a Victor Mouse Trap. No. Oh, Bridger Coil Spring Game Trap. Now, these in certain some places are illegal. And that's why it says check local area restrictions. See, they're being very responsible. The other thing about this item is they did come out with a second email saying it is this is not a toy. Do not play with this. This will hurt you. So how about at this point we don't play with it? I'm, I'm I am fully qualified to play with this and hurt myself. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna move on while he does what he does. Um, second, well that's the second item. Third item is face paint camouflage. Color light green and loam color. So it's a bottle of face paint. It looks like a stick. Oh yeah, it's a camo stick. Paint. Yeah, it's camo paint. So um, color additives, oh. ingredients: water, propylene glycol, mineral oil, talc, gly um, glycerol, stearate, magnesium, aluminum. There's a whole bunch of chemicals in there. Okay, this thing is legit. Like you've got to actually set it down and then do the whole thing. Okay, yes. this is this is that break your finger type thing right here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah, put it right here. Okay, so, so far, because we've been getting sidetracked with his antics over here, we have the trap, the beanie, and the face paint. Um, next, ooh, Sharp X. It's a pivoting um, X-based ceramic and carbide sharpener. So, this is actually, I mean, that's nice. Look at that. Yeah, we have a ton of knives. So. Harsh carbide, fine ceramic. So... It looks like this will meet all of your um, sharpening needs. Oh, for so, the most part. For the most part. I mean, when it comes to part. your basic, you know. Okay. Um, oh, next, nice. what do you have in your little hands? Next, we have a pocket, uh, pocket slingshot. What? So, Oh wow! Oh yeah. And this shoots up to 350 feet per second. Now here's the disclaimer, which is all of this needs to be treated as if, because it is a weapon. Yes. This um, is these not are a not toy. toys. Oh yes. And these these aren't even these. 
These are ball bearings. I mean, these are... You want to show them how solid and chunky those things? These are ball bearings. I mean, so, these are legit... I mean, some legit stuff. Um, let me show them. And Say, you... How does this work? What you do is you put it in there. Put your, your ball bearing in there. Squeeze right here. Pull this back. Oh, let wow. it go. And that... Yeah, this is... That cool. is friggin' legit. This is the portable DACA right here. But, you know, the thing is, is that it contains, and it comes with, I'm going to tip this up so you can see it, quite a few of the ball bearings, which I'm not going to call BBs, but there. on here it says, uses many type of ammos, and it even has things like marshmallows. Those are marshmallows, right? Right there? No, no. What are they? They look like Those marshmallows. Those are hard pellets. Hard pellets? Yeah, they're like hard foam pellets. Oh, hard foam pellets. You can also shoot marshmallows. I'm just, no, they'd be squishy, wouldn't they? Yeah. Anyway, I would shoot marsh. I would try to shoot marshmallows out of it. But, you know, something like this, oh, you can shoot all of it and make it into, like, little shot buckshot. Gun, yeah. Um, but I could see even things like airsoft, in a, in a pinch, airsoft stuff being in there, whatever, oh, yeah. so... Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Okay, next is camo form, reusable, oh, yeah. heavy-duty fabric wrap. So um, this is the fabric wrap, and um, you use this basically to conceal or to quiet equipment. Um, you can see it's a good. You know, that's my hand width. So you got you got a good so, bit, a good bit of uh, the foam there. Right, it's a good bit, and it is. How long? Oh, it's digital woodland. So, um, I don't know. It's there's quite a lot there. I mean, quite a lot. So, that's cool. Next, we have a basic mousetrap. Now, I'm quite familiar with these mousetrap. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Let me do this without busting my fingers. Mousetrap. Nice and solid. That's loud. That's a dead mouse. It's a meal. Sna I've seen snakes get killed with these. By these, so we're just gonna down there. And he just throws snakes on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Now, normally, all sharp implements are his deal. However, well, you know what? This one. Okay, pick your jaw up, sweetie. No, what, um, you're you're like uh okay. Um, Pocket hunting and fishing guide. Hey. Um, tips, tactics, and must-have gear. Oh, this is nice. <gasps> walleye. I love walleye. Oh, I remember. I used to eat walleye all the time. But there's pictures. Um, things like how to swing your rifle on moving deer. Um, and I'm reading right off the back. Learning to tie the most useful knots. Salty secrets for sea anglers, which is helpful for us because we're from Florida. So, some. I'm a fisher. Yeah. I know this. He's a fisher. I'm a watcher. Um, secrets of successful rubber saving, how to dry your boots. I mean, this has so much stuff in it. This will definitely need to be. It'll get, read. This will get put in a bag and then put in our pack. Yes, a bag. Okay. So, it looks like. Oh, the last two items are mine. Three. Three. There's still really? three wow, items. Wow, okay. In here. Uh, all right. Well, this right here is awesome. This. I've seen these. No, I, there is another item in here for me. Okay. This is a convertible harpoon. Okay. The way this works, look right there on the back. Put that up there so you can see. You utilize this, you the string, you wrap it on a stick, or you put it on this right here, and you shove this on a stick, and you have a spear, harpoon, I mean... I, I actually, oh. you see the thing on the back? I actually played around with, you know, toyed around with the idea of getting one of these, but. I guess we don't, oh, I guess me. we got one then. No, you don't have to, but it does, I mean, it comes with a little cheapy compass, but this is actually a pretty, a, a damn good piece of gear right here. And it's by nice. Outdoor Edge, so. Yeah, really. And one of the things I do want to mention is, is the Harpoon, the um, Sharp X, those are both outdoor edge, so I think that that's the like some the vendor some of the, have month. the vendor yeah. of the month. Yeah. Um, next is this um, ready man card. You can see it's the size of a credit card. When you go into it, I don't know if you all can see that. Wow. Give me something um, white. 
care. Oh, one of our lottery tickets. With my numbers not showing through. Okay. But that, and I'm going to rock it a little bit so you can see that all that's on here. This has, um, oh Lord, blind, um, ready, um, it looks like a whole bunch of screwdrivers, a small saw, fishing hooks, fishing hooks, uh, arrowhead. Oh yeah, there's the arrowhead. Some single hooks, double hooks, um, a little saw edge. So this has a lot of stuff that's on it. I'm gonna have to look more into this. Uh, that is pretty, pretty, and it's oh, and it's kind it's of metal. Yeah, it's not. Sh it's it's. I mean, it's flimsy metal, but you, it actually it got some twang to it. I mean, it's not. Oh, that's this one. Oh, there's multiple sets. There's different sets. There's oh, this one. There's one that comes with like a lock pick. A mini saw blade. I mean, this is just really nifty. I really like this. I'm glad I dug into it. Now, the is there a, something that goes that it, that attaches to? It looks like it, it would attach to something. Well, you know what you could do is, is just get some cord. Yeah. And wrap and put some like not thick cord, but. Right. That's exciting. Yeah. Next, we're going to go open the knife. It is a buck knife. And. Oh, that's a Edge of Legend. Let's see. It's small for a buck knife, but. That's, oh, wow. That's not bad. I, I, not bad for a fixed blade. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Nice little. Uh, <laughs> steel, uh, tang to it. I wonder what kind of steel this is. Let me, let me do a little bit of research real quick. The case is. Mm, Buck knives. Oh, it's a small. It's a game skinner. That's why. Oh. Okay. It's a game skinner. I'm looking at the card as we do this. Oh, let me put my lottery ticket up before I lose it. Okay. okay. <laughs> if I win 900 million, I'm going to lose it. So, um, while he's looking up the specs, looking at the specs of that one, this is the last thing in this um, kit, and this is probably one of his things too. Oh, look at that. That is enough. So we got three weapons in this one. Four, if you count the traps. Oh yeah. This, oh I like oh, that that's snap. Nice. And this is also from Outdoor Edge. And um, one of the things I've noticed is, here take this, because I'm not allowed to handle knives unless yeah, it's an emergency. I almost. I like how that. Okay, this has got it's a rubber grip. Interesting design. And if, if you look closely here, I don't know if you can see that. The knife has. Oh man, this lighting is. Okay, there we go. You see that black? That almost feels like another edge. The the metal is actually seated in that. That's interesting. That is, yeah, I've never seen a but razor light edge. You know what I notice is that all of their products have that mm -hmm. type of um, rubber grip. See, because look at that and then look at this. Do you feel the grip? Yeah. And it felt comfortable even in, I have um, small girl hands. So even in my small girl hands, that felt comfortable, not very weighty. You know there, what I'm saying? Yeah, there is a button here, but I'm not sure what it does. So That's interesting. Oh, it releases the blade? Wow, okay, there we go. That's what sets that apart from different knives. And then you lo lock it in. Oh, that is interesting. Okay, so... It comes out, and this actually is sharp. That actually is. I'm not gonna fit around with that because that actually is no kidding. Let me see. Again, oh, careful. You can see that's it without the blade. Hold the blade up. And then here's the blade. So that's pretty nifty. That is neat. So that means that that knife. We there's probably replacement blades you can get. So that inc that extends the life of the blade or well, the knife. The durability of the knife, yeah, the, the value, the usefulness of the knife. Because there are some knives you can only sharpen a blade so much, so much before it's no moss. It's going to be no good. So, but it is stiff. It isn't like my other knife to flick out on this one. Like if you see the other knife they sent me, you know, flick blades. I like a flick blade too. When I flick it, it flicks out. You know, this one, I guess it just, this one may just have to take some breaking in, but the flick is just, it's not as, But it may know. be, maybe a function of the double, double it, layer too. It could be, it could be, 
I mean, this is all right. Um, I, this is something I'd actually have to fiddle around with for a while to get before I can actually, you know, give my my the seal of approval on it. However, though this buck knife Skinner, this is nice. This is really, really. Look at the handle. That is that is a nice blade. That is a nice blade. We need a sheet of paper up here. Yeah. So that we can hold it. I like the sheath on that. Did you show the sheath on that? Yeah, the sheath. Well? You see, the sheath. It looks makes the blade look like it's much bigger than it really is. And I thought it was gonna be the blade was gonna be bigger, but it wasn't. But I'm I'm still not disappointed in what I have. This is a nice little. This right here. This is what I would call a holdout knife, like you know a last resort knife. So. Okay, and the last nice. thing in here is a coupon, and it says Battle Box exclusive coupon, thirty five percent off entire purchase at OutdoorEdge.com. Now, Outdoor Edge is um, all the, like the knife, the Sharp X, the, har the um, portable harpoon, all of those are products of Outdoor Edge. One of the things I'm always looking for is a new site to go on and see if they have any gear that we don't. Yeah. And so this is definitely something I'm putting up here with my lottery ticket. And so I'm going to go ahead and review what we got. In the basic box would be... <gasps> Oh, it comes with a oh, oh, it comes with a slew of them. Oh man, five extra blades. Okay. That made it a lot better for Six, you, didn't oh, it? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Or did it, he? It did make it better. That's that explains yeah, the knife. Instructions, yeah. Maybe we should start reading the instructions. There's a case. Okay, so yeah, that's nice. Oh, so, that's yeah. cool. All right. So in the basic box comes the camo face paint, the camo form wrap. The outdoor um, edge sharp knife sharpener, the wilderness survival card, which is this ready man card, which I've been looking at these for a while. I may have to go on and look at and see what all of these are. Um, anyway, the um, pocket hunting and fishing guide, which he's hiding over here, and let's see, Victor mouse trap, which is this. I gotta be careful with that because I would do something with it. Um, and the reversible beanie cap. I wonder if it's reversible. It's gonna be loud because I'm gonna mess with this plastic, but I wanna know why it's reversible. I'm just curious.